To make more money, try selecting for profit. That's what dollar value indexes help cattle producers do. Selection indexes are really a great tool that we have to practice multiple trait selection directly for profit because these indexes are in dollar values, so dollars saved or dollars earned. Ranchers who want to produce standouts in the feedlot and on the rail often turn to the American Angus Association's Dollar Beef Index. A recent summary shows dramatic differences in progeny over the last 15 years in those sired by bulls in the top 10% compared to the bottom 10th for dollar beef. Those from the top group had five times the number of prime carcasses and a 67-pound weight advantage. Indexes help simplify selection, but Rolf offers this tip. Generally speaking with selection indexes, we want to use one index at a time and minimize our use of additional EPDs or indexes because we want to make sure um, that we don't overemphasize selection on a trait. So any trait that's within the index, we generally don't want to practice additional selection on that trait because it will be overemphasized. The exception to those kinds of rules are for traits that are limiting in the environment, whether it's milk production or mature size or mature weight. Um, where we might want to place limits on those traits and then finish our selection with um, selecting the bulls with the highest index values. To keep replacement heifers, a producer should include maternal traits, such as those represented in the dollar weaning index. I'm Cindy Campbell.